Good afternoon, friends. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Let me kind of real quick just go through some headlines here. Uh, I talked about some very serious information I wanted to share with you. I'll briefly speak on that. As you guys know, we are targeted for elimination here on Israeli News Live. Some very big heavyweight hitters. I know this one guy with the name of Shah, well, uh, here, uh, Ra, uh, is joining forces with the con man there, and uh, they are out to try to remove us from this platform because we have too much weight and too much uh, truth going on out there. And speaking of truth, as you can see, the good doctor is in the house over on Fact News Network right now with my lovely wife, Yana Benoon, and that is a very powerful, powerful hour-long interview. You will definitely be getting some information you will want to see there. And I can't say it'll be up there very long because we know that they're looking to take down any channel. As our good friend Adam uh, Green has been taken down, you want to get over there on Adam's other platforms. He's on DLive, No More News. Uh, Adam is also on um, uh, BitChute, where he is uh, also loads up a lot of content. I know Adam did join up with uh, also with Brand New Tube, but I don't know if Adam is loading content there as of yet. But I just want to mention about Adam there and the wonderful work he does. Anyway, uh, these two lovely ladies here are over there on Fact News Network right now. It has been uploaded or being uploaded as we speak to uh, uh, to Brand New Tube as well as our Patreon channel. So enough of that. Let's go right into some things I want to share with you. Fox News put this out today, a clip. I actually heard it because uh, I like to listen to CNN and Fox both because I think it's so funny. It's clearly bias on both sides of, this, uh, of the stream there. But Donald Trump was on the speaker call today with the prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and Trump called Joe Sleepy Joe and tried to get Netanyahu to support his mockery of the Democratic presidential candidate. But uh, he says on there, and this is just a little transcript, do you think Sleepy Joe could have made this deal, BB? And then there's a long pause, and I heard it. It was a long pause. He says, well, Mr. President, one thing I can tell you is we appreciate the help for peace from anyone in America. Added Netanyahu to a long list of politicians who are no longer uh, uh, co-towing to Trump's childish name-calling and disrespect of others. That's what the guy writes here in the article there. But it clearly shows that the intel that we had just received recently is that there was a rift between President Donald Trump and that of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But you cannot forget the fact that rabbis in Israel believe that Donald Trump could very well be Mashiach ben Yosef, the Messiah of Joseph that will deliver the, uh, the enemies of Israel to the sword, such as Iran in this case and uh, Hezbollah, and possibly even that of Yemen, the, uh, the Houthi rebels down there that are being backed by Iran. And this is what we were being told as well, is that there's going to be a false flag event that most likely is going to be carried out, no longer by the Mossad getting involved in this, but Jordan and other uh, subcontractors, such as the Mahdeen of Iran, those guys there, that will help bring about an attack possibly against U.S. interests there in the Middle East. I've also had that confirmed with another one of our intel sources that they had heard the same, that it would actually be against one of our vessels in the Persian Gulf or the region thereof and would be blamed on Iran. That could even be off the coast of Yemen, because you have to remember, uh, we have assets, interests everywhere. We have them in Iraq. We have it in Kuwait. We have it in Saudi Arabia, Yemen, etc. And we do have ground forces on the ground fighting in Yemen as we speak there. Nonetheless, this war is needed not only to uh, help keep Trump in office, which I know there's people that disagree with this, but just looking around just to see uh, were there articles about it? Yes, David Mark says here, Trump trails Biden in swing state and national polls, but here's how he can still win. Article like that. And then we had, of course, James Woods, the, uh, the actor that, very, very well-known actor, uh, who is a strong Trump supporter, posted this today on his Twitter page. Biden is favored to win the election. We simulate the election 40,000 times to see who wins most often. The sample of 100 outcomes below gives you a good idea of the range of scenarios our model thinks is possible. Well, Trump is 12 and 100, Biden 87 and 100. It's not looking good. And of course, in my opinion, it's not that they want to keep, make sure Trump wins a landslide victory. 
We already know that he's going to win a landslide victory. I was told that Trump would be put back in office. But the whole point is, is that Israel needs the war against Iran and they need their Mashiach figure. And Trump, I believe, is that guy for the Ben Joseph side of it. Don't forget, Israel has two different types of Messiah, Ben Yosef and Ben David. Ben David is the peace bringing Messiah. The Trump Messiah guy, if Trump is that guy, is the one that delivers war, delivers the building of the third temple. And also, though, as you can see in this Twitter post as well, Israel is aiding, again, Azerbaijan against that of the Christian Armenian country there. This troubles me at the core, especially for Israel, with so much Christian support and help for the nation of Israel and the backing by the, the Christian communities all over the world, including the Armenian community, only to be having the Israeli politicians arm the very side to kill Christians. But really, is it any surprise after all? It's troubling for me to hear something like this. Also, jumping over to Arut Shiva, um, Arut Shiva was reporting that the IDF attacked Hezbollah post near Quenetra. This was a few days ago. My good friend Lior sent this to me. I was actually at the time at the funeral, so I was unable to report on this events that were going on. But I believe these are also things that are fueling the situation that we're seeing there in the Middle East and will ultimately bring about this war. Oh, it's kind of interesting. Look at there. They have a Donald Trump name right there on a root shiva. Tell me who they support over there. Trump predicts Saudi Arabia will forge ties with Israel. Well, sure they will. Sure they will. There's no doubt about it. All right. So we'll go, we'll look into stuff like this later here. They go into the different things that they're doing. Um, this is another thing that's also concerning as well. Uh, not, not the guy here with AMTV. I appreciate a lot of the reporting that he does there. So uh, I want to just mention that there. He does have some very nice reporting, but he's talking about Pat Robertson. And I want to play a little clip here of where he talks about Pat Robertson and Pat Robertson's uh, alleged vision of what's going to happen. And don't forget, I don't tell you I have visions and dreams of these things. I'm not saying that God can't use those things. I've seen it like that. I normally, for me, I see things even years in advance before they happen. But I don't like to build uh, a platform on that. Listen to what he says about Pat Robertson here. Trump wins the election. Back up. Time. Not only warned that Donald Trump wins the election, but warns of what happens after that to the United States of America, to Israel, events that will unfold worldwide, and then an asteroid hitting the planet Earth potentially and wiping us out like the dinosaurs. Televangelist Pat Robertson says God told him, quote, Trump will win, then giant asteroid will hit the Earth. Now, of course, this ties exactly. All right. Now, I'm not, I, I don't like to downplay dreams and visions and things where God uses people. But when you deal with people that are, that are very well known, like Pat Robertson, uh, I cannot help but believe that this is an agenda. It's just like them trying to take down us here on Israeli News Live. There is an agenda behind it. We know who's behind trying to have us removed uh, from this channel. And of course, who's joined forces. The video, and though I'm very kind in, in the video towards uh, this one particular Messianic rabbi with his first name beginning in S, second letter H, and then ending in R-A, he's on a bent to get us removed. And now he's joined forces with the con man. Uh, they know that we carry a lot of weight in waking people up to what's really going on. And we've caused a lot of damage towards Satan's agenda. And it is Satan's agenda. Uh, so they don't want that truth going out there. So they're taking and they're letting these intel communities come out and put all this information out there to make it look like, wow, to the public, they're going to say, wow, these guys knew. I'm just honest in telling you, I know from the intel side of it, not because uh, God told me so. And, you know, but truly, I believe God has witnessed to people in dreams and visions. And I do not like, I don't want to undermine that. That's not my intention. 
Maybe Pat Hi, Robertson Dr. here will actually speak on this here in just a second. Let's get past the little part of this uh, uh, ad here, and let's see if we can't get here on this, see what Pat says. I want to share show. with you, I was praying on Sunday saying, God, please tell me how it's going to happen, and I hope I've got the word. But first of all, I want to say without question, Trump is going to win the election. Uh, and uh, that doesn't mean you sit home and don't vote. That, that, that means you get out and do everything you can to work. But he's going to win. That's, I think, a given. And, but after he is sworn in and his vice president is Mike Pence, then trouble is going to happen. He's going to be challenged by the Chinese, as you couldn't believe, will be faced probably with some kind of a war. The North Koreans are going to have nuclear weapons. They're going to threaten us. Uh, the Russians are going to do everything they can. Uh, the Turks have got their things going. And You see, everything he's talking about here are things that we're already aware of. Known it. I've shared these things with you. I've told you how Russia works with Netanyahu. I told you how the Chinese are... I was, I was told over a year ago... Don't speak evil against the Chinese. That was by Israeli Mossad intelligence people. Don't speak evil against the Chinese. They will be the next world superpower, and we're working with them. Let's jump forward and see what else he has to say. Uh, Iran to come together against Israel. And that's what uh, Ezekiel says is going to happen, that uh, there's going to be this tremendous horde. Now, who's going to be involved in coming against it is going to be the, the, the uh, Muslim communities on the border of Russia, and Azerbaijan is just one of them. They're, they're already trying to kill the, the uh, Christians. In, uh... Look at there. Now he's telling you Azerbaijan's going to come against Israel. All right, really, Mr. Pat Robertson, why Israel's over there helping Azerbaijan to kill the Christians. I mean, this disgusts me is what it does. It really disgusts me. Let me kind of take you into a couple other things real quick here. Earthquakes are going off like crazy. In fact, since before I even started, another one's done hit. Look at that red dot right there. 3.0 over there in Hope, Kansas just got hit with an earthquake. We're seeing some big ones down here. The Fiji Islands uh, over there, uh, 5.2 also in Port uh, Olray. Uh, over in Argentina, you got a 5.0. All Alaska, the earth is moving like crazy. And I've been told, I was told long ago this was going to happen. The storms were going to happen. The earthquakes were going to happen. There's right now, if I'm not mistaken, let me see if we can't pull this up on Twitter real quick. Uh, volcanoes. And let me just see there. Uh, let's see, Russia. I was told uh, somebody sent me a message that there were three. I think it's Sister Rosa. And God bless you, by the way, Sister Rosa. Uh, if you happen to be watching the broadcast tonight, we love you, sister. She's a wonderful, wonderful sister. Uh, there we go right there. Volcano called uh, Karl Miski in the far east of Russia has erupted and sent a huge column of ash miles into the atmosphere there. Uh, there is, let's see, breaking three volcanoes. That's Paul Begley had put that out as well. Uh, have erupted, and of course we can see there there are more in there that are that are just blowing off their steam there. So these things are happening. Storms, and I've got um, a good, our good friend there uh, over in California, Deborah Tavares, was telling us that they're expecting a storm to come through California with over 75 mile an hour winds. Again, like the Dracio storms across the Midwest, we were told about these things, and you know so. I, I don't know what to tell you about all these things. And, and, and listen, here's another one. I, and I don't, I caught this on Twitter, but when I started to listen to the video, I don't like, it's a like new age type of channel. So I do not encourage this channel. I wanted to show you though, because the picture image that was sent to the guy that does this channel here shows one of these, uh, uh, these photographs there. I, I think what they do, they block out the sunlight so they can capture like space in behind it. But the person that sent it in was showing all the streaks on here, all the streaks in there. These are asteroids right there. It was highly unusual, so many of them. And I know that some are trying to say these are all from Haley Comet's debris field that, that we're going through. We're going through a debris field before we got to Haley's Comet debris field. And uh, I don't see Haley's Comet putting that big of a debris field out there. But I, I may be wrong. So I, I don't know, guys. 
But still, that that was a, a photographic image done on the 17th of October at 2.42 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I, I cannot imagine what we're about to see. And of course, one of my contacts uh, from FEMA, who has very good inside sources, is claiming that come the end of the year, things are going to be extremely bad uh, and it's going to get only worse and worse. But it's still all just small debris. It'd be next year they claim that things will get well, things will really begin to heat up. And I don't know. I'm not I'm not. I'm not a prophet. I can't prophesy these things. All I can do is share with you that intel and the probability of things being as a possibility. Uh, I apologize. I did not see uh, the image there on the screen till just now, so I apologize about that. I know there's some bad things that always pop up. Maybe I can black that out. Uh, always some kind of perversion somewhere out there. So my apologies for that. Uh, also, to another thing here, speaking about these asteroids, when people like to mock and make fun, say, oh, there's no such thing, things like that. Okay, whatever. Um, we've got, all. look at all these on here that were discovered. These are all just in October coming up. October alone has nine, I believe it is, within less than one lunar distance of the Earth. Most of those have just been discovered. 84 near-Earth objects less one lunar distance have already bypassed the Earth this year, more than doubling that of last year. Uh, and that's for the entire last year. If I'm not mistaken, that's about right on that number there. Uh, we've got nine, I think, like I said, this month alone in October. And they're discovering them faster than you can imagine. That's why you see all these popping up like this. I don't know what to tell you, friends. I don't know what to tell you. Definitely get subscribed over on our brand new tube. Uh, we will uh, be getting more of these things out for you here. Um, trying to get this information up for you. Uh, these are uh, our backup channels, as I mentioned before. Uh, also, Fact News Network, subscribe while it is up on YouTube. Uh, this video here, the very, very good interview there. Let me just see. I haven't updated or anything. I'm just curious to know. Good evening uh, and welcome to... That's already jumped to 4,000 views, so I'm glad to see people are, are, are paying attention and heeding the information. It's very important information. And, uh, and uh, I like to see two medical professionals come together. Yana, though, is no longer practicing medicine, but she did in Europe. She was a nurse midwife. Uh, Carrie is also a doctor of um, a DO. And my wife will tell you a lot about what that, what type of doctor that is. That's also Sherry Timpany is also a DO. Very, very educated people and understand the truth of what's really going on. So take the time. Subscribe to our different channels as well so you know because we are targeted for elimination. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you.